What's up YouTube? Jay Travellini here. And today I have a build that I'm finishing up for a client. So in this build, I have a GTX 1660Ti. We'll have an i5-9400F going into it. And it's gonna be encased in a Cooler Master MB511 RGB case uh, with an H370 gigabyte gaming three Wi-Fi board. Uh, we already went through and I updated the BIOS on this so it does accept the nine generation chipset and it's pretty much ready to go. That's why it's pretty much you see it pre-built in the box. It already has the M.2 on it. It already has the Evo 212 on it and already has 16 gigs of RAM already installed on it. So what we have left to do is I'm going to install it in its case that finally showed up and get this build completed for, for a client of mine. So let's get it started. So the first thing I'm going to do in this build, I'm going to uh, strip down the case pretty much, get my power supply in, route the cables, then I'm going to mount the motherboard with all the components on it. Uh, and it's pretty much just connecting power, plugging in the graphics card, it's pretty much good to go. So we'll get started on that, we'll get that all squared away. So we take the four screws out, we, we pretty much just get this glass piece off. Uh, it's just the two screws on this case. You bend it and it pops right up. So there we go. We'll lay down on the ground here on the box and then get this stuff out of the way for now. So we'll get the mother, uh, we'll get the power supply in. We'll round everything pretty much. Uh, we'll get the back cover off. One thing with the uh, these cooler master cases also is we got to put the standoffs in. So we'll have to get uh, the screw kit out and put all our standoffs in, which won't take too much time. So on the back side here, we'll get these two screws out and this back piece will slide right out. We can get in there and we should have all of our screws and everything back there. So we'll put this out of the way. Uh, these screws look a little bit different, so we're gonna have to make sure that we don't confuse them later. So I'll put these on top of that, and I'll put these right next to my glass piece. And just as expected, our bag of goodies here with all of our screws. So a few zip ties in here and a couple screws for you to try and mount your hardware. Uh, this actually isn't too bad, this cable management that they have going on. So this will probably mostly stay the way it is. And I'll tuck some stuff up. You also have down bottom here, it's hard to see, we have your hard drive bed, which we'll be mounting one of those in later. All right, so the standoffs are installed and they give you this little little tool, it's this little silver thing. So you just put it on top of the standoff and you just screw it in with a Phillips head screwdriver. And you'll look on, on the case and it'll be labeled with an A, an M, or an I. Uh, that pretty much tells you which spot that the standoff goes on so next i'll put the power supply in and we'll get that behind the cover here and then we'll also mount the motherboard we have the screws already pulled out of the bag so we got enough enough screws that we can mount the motherboard and have that nice and secure one thing you always want to do before you mount the motherboard is make sure you put that io shield in so we'll pop that in place mount the motherboard and get that power supply in all right, so now we got the power supply in and the motherboard, as you can see, it's sitting here. You can kind of see I have some cables laying through. I kind of routed them the way I wanted to. Uh, as far as a graphics card, we don't have it, obviously don't have it in yet, but I don't know if I'm gonna wrap the cables through the side or just pull them up through the two slots down here. Uh, so I'll play that by ear, what, what looks best when we get the build pretty much completed. But the next step I'm gonna do is connect all the power to the motherboard. All right, now that we got the power connected, I also hooked up the audio. Uh, we're gonna install the graphics card. And right before we do that, we're gonna set all of our pins in place for our power switch, our reset switch, and our lighting on our power buttons. So you can always refer to the manual to see what order they go in. So We'll just plug them into these pins in the order. And this one actually has it color coded a little bit, so it makes it a little bit easier and nicer on this board. But we'll go in, we'll get these pins in. 
I'm, we'll get the graphics card in, then we can pretty much turn the machine on. All right, so now that we got our pins connected, we're gonna put our um, graphics card in. One thing I wanted to point out about this graphics card is this EVGA 1660 Ti actually takes up three slots. And when you're picking out your case, when you're using this graphics card, uh, you wanna make sure you get a large enough case, especially if you're doing a mini build or an ITX build. You wanna make sure you pick a case that can suit this. So I'm gonna end up pulling out these three and mounting it. The fact that it takes up three slots actually gives you one more screw to mount, which also gives it a little bit more stability. Uh, and it has a pretty large fan on it for cooling. So it's gonna be a pretty nice card inside this build. So we're gonna take one, two, three screws out. Then we're gonna take our uh, metal pieces out so we can mount this. All right, so we got the graphics card in. Before I run the power to it, one thing that this motherboard did come with is a Wi-Fi card and actually plugs into uh, a slot on the motherboard. It's not PCI Express, you can see. So it's a little spot. So it plugs into a little M.2 slot, which is made for Wi-Fi, which is right down here. So I'm gonna install this get this mounted on my bottom bracket here so we can hide the wiring and tuck it up underneath there. So we'll get this installed so that they can use Wi-Fi on this build um, since it comes with it and it was with the motherboard. So we'll get that installed right now. We'll just unscrew this and pop this in. So I will probably have to get my precision screwdriver set to screw in that Wi-Fi chip to the motherboard. So if you don't have one when you're dealing with these and M.2s, you might want to pick one up. So we'll get this mounted on. We'll just mount this in right here. Just right there. So then this person will have access to Wi-Fi. All right, now we got our graphics card in. I actually ran the power right up through the top. I didn't go around the side. It would have been too long of a stretch. It would have just wouldn't have looked great. Uh, we got our Wi-Fi card installed. It's, it's screwed in. Pretty much just ready to connect power to it and boot it up now and see what it does. All right, so we got our stuff hooked up. Let's see what happens. Boards lighting up, fans lighting up, we're posted. Windows, I already had Windows already loaded on the M.2, so that wasn't really an issue, but we're in, man. A nice, clean build. I'll probably do some updating to drivers uh, so he doesn't have to do it and make sure, you know, everything's running good. Maybe run a few benchmarks. Just make sure everything's running as it should with the motherboard and also just with the graphics card, make sure it works properly before I deliver the PC to him. But say so we got a 9400F build with a 1660 Ti. Uh, very clean looking build. I, I really like this Gigabyte motherboard and the, the lighting effects it has and I actually ran the RGB off the Gigabyte board uh, Just plugged right in so all my front fans look just like the motherboard will and uh, we can use the software through Gigabyte to even adjust that a little bit if we wanted to but uh, Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for checking out this build uh, hit that subscribe button hit that like button comment if you'd like to see any other builds in the future, maybe what you would like to see. And uh, thanks for stopping in.